10 Things You Missed in Cobra Kai Cobra Kai is shaping up to be Netflix's next big show, with fans raving about the first two seasons. Though, there are likely some key details that you missed while watching the series. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button so we know who the real Cobra Kai fans are. Johnny's Defeat The last place viewers saw Johnny Lawrence in the original Karate Kid films was when he was lying face down on the mat after his imminent defeat by Daniel at the All Valley Karate Tournament. The writers of Cobra Kai took note of this and made sure to incorporate that scene into the Cobra Kai series as well. If you paid close attention to the opening scene back in Season 1, you'll notice a familiar shot of Johnny. As the series begins, we are greeted with Johnny lying face down in his bed, seemingly defeated by life. This scene is a replica of the shot of Johnny in the final Karate Kid film, insinuating that nothing has changed for Johnny since that fateful day three decades ago. His life is now in shambles and he has no direction, much as his life was back then. The Bonsai Tree Americans can likely attribute the growing trend of bonsai trees in the 80s to the Karate Kid films. Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel a very valuable lesson, showing him how to care for a bonsai tree amid his physical training. This was a pivotal moment for Daniel, as it showed he not only needed to be fierce in the ring, but he also needed to be gentle, calm, and collected, calculating his opponent and being very patient for the right move to appear. Quite a tough lesson to learn from a tree. In Cobra Kai, it seems that Daniel never let the memory of this lesson die, as he is now the owner of several popular car dealerships, with the dealer giving a free bonsai tree to everyone who purchases a new car. This was a very nice throwback to the original franchise. Strike first. While Johnny may have been defeated in the original series, as well as the following 30 years, he makes sure to get back on his feet and come back swinging. He remembers the rules he was taught by Sensei Kreets all those years ago. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. He takes these rules and teaches them to his students at the revamped Cobra Kai Dojo. Johnny learned many valuable lessons over the last few decades, and he is intended to show what he has learned to his new students so that they may not follow the same path he once did. Miyagi's Return Sadly, Pat Morita was unable to reprise his role as Mr. Miyagi. He passed away back in 2005, but his impact on the series remains throughout Cobra Kai. He appears in several flashbacks throughout the series, popping up in many episodes in the first two seasons. In one scene, we are shown a glimpse of a newspaper that reads, Mystery Dojo with a single student defeats the Cobras. While Pat was sadly unable to be part of the new series, writers made sure to bring him back in spirit, prominently featuring his lessons and accomplishments throughout the series. Johnny's Style If you've seen the original series, you'll likely remember how Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel how some of life's most meaningful old day-to-day -day chores can be used to train your body for combat. These lessons are what brought Daniel to victory, though Johnny has still not learned these lessons. To him, chores are nothing more than tasks that need to be completed. This is proven by the numerous scenes where he forced Miguel to complete basic chores around the shop, not once explaining how these chores will better his character and performance in combat. I guess, for Johnny, some things never change. Johnny's Trophies While Johnny was largely considered a failure by many viewers of the Karate Kid films, he was quite adept at his craft, though Daniel was just a little bit better. One of the first shots in Season 2 shows a trophy case filled with trophies. However, we are never told where these trophies came from. GameSpot was able to visit the Season 2 set during production, and although you can't make out the inscriptions on screen, they were able to confirm that these martial arts trophies were inscribed to Johnny Lawrence. While he may have been unable to defeat Daniel, he still accomplished a lot in his younger years. Kreese's Return This scene may not mean much to new viewers of the series, but it's a turning point in the entire Karate Kid franchise. In Episode 1 of Season 2, we see Sensei Kreese return to visit with Johnny. This is the first time viewers have seen Kreese since the conclusion of Karate Kid 3, with Kreese having taught Johnny everything he knows. One of the most important scenes in the original Karate Kid film was when Kreese holds teenage Johnny in a chokehold. However, in Cobra Kai Season 2, it is now Johnny holding Kreese in a chokehold, signifying his growth over the years. Miyagi's Car In the first film, Mr. Miyagi shows his love for Daniel by giving him a car for his birthday. In season two, we see that Daniel still owns the car and has taken great care of it over the years. He shows it to his newest student, Dimitri, in a scene that most older viewers will not soon forget. Daniel's Techniques To train Dimitri in the best way he knows how, Daniel passes on many of the lessons he learned from Mr. Miyagi. In the first episode of the second season, we learn that Daniel has inherited Mr. Miyagi's house, giving him access to all of the former sensei's vehicles, equipment, and learning material. Daniel uses this to his advantage and teaches Dimitri the infamous wax on, wax off technique, as well as the Tom Sawyer esque fence painting technique. He also teaches Dimitri about the sand on the floor method, proving that muscle memory is key to doing a good job, both in life and in combat. Daniel even goes as far as teaching Dimitri about balance, telling him that balance is everything. He teaches him that without balance, everything falls apart. This lesson ends with a comedic scene of Dimitri falling into the pond at Mr. Miyagi's house, but it seems as though his point was well received in the end. 
Johnny's Rock and Roll Roots In the Karate Kid series, Johnny is often portrayed as a kid who lives life on the edge. While he's an excellent fighter, he lacks the life skills to transform his techniques into real-world lessons. He listens to rock music as well as metal music. His taste in music makes a comeback in the new series, when Johnny is seen roaming around a home improvement store. If you watch closely, you'll see he's wearing a Metallica shirt. However, not just any Metallica shirt. It comes from the Damage Justice Tour, which took place between 1988 and 1989, the same year Karate Kid 3 was released in theaters. This is a very interesting throwback that most viewers probably overlooked. The History of Cobra Kai Cobra Kai is a new web series that continues the story of the Karate Kid franchise, telling it in a much more modern way to appeal to a new demographic. The show takes place approximately 34 years after the original film and tells the story from Johnny Lawrence's point of view. Johnny decides to reopen the old Cobra Kai Karate Dojo, leading to the reunion between himself and many of his old peers, including Daniel LaRusso. Strangely, the series has been available online for several years, but has only recently been made available on Netflix. The show was initially picked up by YouTube Red, with the first season being released in 2018. YouTube gave the series a second go in 2019, though YouTube began its restructure of its Red program, rebranding as YouTube Premium. Throughout this process, they decided to sell the series to Netflix, prompting Netflix to renew the show for a third and fourth season, though neither of these seasons has aired yet due to the ongoing pandemic. Season 3 is scheduled to premiere in January of 2021, and we can't wait. 34 years after Johnny is defeated at the All-Valley Karate Tournament, he's in his 50s, finding steady work as a handyman around Los Angeles. He lives in a crummy apartment in Reseda, and is a far cry from the life he once had. Johnny had a son with his former girlfriend, Shannon, though he abandoned both Shannon and the young boy, named Robbie, as soon as the son was born. To make matters worse, his mother passed away on the same day, leaving Johnny in a seemingly bottomless pit of despair, unable to mend the broken fragment of his life. Worse yet, Johnny is still struggling with the breakup of his high school girlfriend, Allie, which is likely the reason he walked out on Shannon. He's still in love with another woman. Johnny eventually loses his job, but that doesn't last for long. While out and about one day, he notices his teenage neighbor, Miguel, being tormented by a group of bullies, prompting Johnny to rescue him with his former karate skills. Miguel was raised by his single mother, who has very little time for him since she is often busy working. Miguel asks Johnny to teach him karate so that he can grow to learn to defend himself, and Johnny hesitantly agrees. Before long, Johnny strikes up the idea to reopen the old dojo, hoping to relive his golden years as a teen. In doing so, he reunites with Daniel, his former rival. Daniel is the polar opposite of Johnny. After his successes as a child, he continued down a great path in life and now owns several successful car dealerships in Los Angeles. He is married and has two children, living the life he always dreamed of, though he's having a difficult time connecting with his younger children, especially after his former teacher, Mr. Miyagi, has passed away. Throughout the series, countless relationships blossom, with some falling apart. Without spoiling too much, we have to admit that the plot is incredibly captivating, and we strongly urge you guys to check out the series.